Hi everybody, my name is Doug Wilson, and this is Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors YouTube channel. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with what we do here at Yellow Hawk, yeah, at Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors, I, sometimes I just shorten it and say Yellow Hawk Customs. Okay, um, I am a custom Kydex sheet builder. I don't just make them; I build them, and I build them military grade I mean tough right um, but still lightweight right there's one thing that really irritates me uh, when I'm carrying gear in the field is gear that's just too heavy right you put it on you're like oh my gosh this thing's too heavy now you got to consider what the piece of gear does as opposed to how much it weighs but generally I try to go for lightweight gear that is durable and these fit the bill okay um, but this video is actually going to be all the different carry systems all the different carry configurations that I'm able to give you in a custom kydex sheath system right so if you guys stay tuned we're going to get right to it and show you what's what Okay, so I want to show you several different sheaths, okay? Now, these sheaths are fairly basic, okay? Um, I can give you all kinds of different options on a sheath system that will really take care of you in the field, right? Uh, I put tactical lighting systems on there. I can put sharpeners on there, diamond rods, diamond stones. I have a whole slew of options. Uh, go to my website, www.yellowhawkcustomkydex.com, and check out the website. There's over 70 different custom sheath systems on there. And I do this full time. I build sheath systems almost every day. Okay? Unless I'm on vacation or I'm in the field or whatever. Um, that's what I do. I do it full time. And I, I've been messing with Kydex, I've been playing with Kydex, working with Kydex for over 20 years, okay? So, I'll tell you what, if I haven't seen it, it can't be done. <laughs> I mean, I've, I have conceived of every different way to build a custom Kydex sheath system, and the ones that I built today are a product of all that experience now this video is going to be mostly carry systems and what we can do as far as um, give you versatility in carrying your fixed blade knife in the field because on the market you look at most sheaths out there whether it be a production or a custom okay uh, you get one, maybe two styles of carry, and that's it, okay? You're paying $50 for it or whatever, okay? Um, I can give you six, seven different styles of carry in one sheath system, right? You may have to change some things out, right? You may have to remove something and then put a clip on to, to, to carry belt carry or whatever, but... That's the nature of the beast. I make it simple, durable, and easy to do. Okay? It's, it's just as high quality as I can get them. Right? Um, 
and still having somebody actually pay for it, right? Um, now, I, I, I make no bones about the fact that our sheath systems are a little more expensive than most of the makers out there. However, if you look at some of the high-end makers, I think the prices are about equal. But, high-quality materials, durability, lightweight, um, bulky is my enemy, right? That's one of the reasons I do not build pancake-style sheaths. And a pancake-style sheath is sheaths that have eyelets on both sides of the blade, okay? In my opinion, that is just not needed, and it, it, it makes a bulky, heavy, cumbersome sheath where it could be a lot slimmer, okay? So I build what we call a taco style, okay? Like this, okay? And, you know, there is the argument that eyelets on both sides gives you more versatility. I don't think so. Not if you build it right, okay? Um, I can give you, for all intents and purposes, the same options and carry capability with a taco that I can with a pancake, right? At, you know, 20% less weight and just slimmer, right? More tactical, less cumbersome. So that's the reason I build taco style sheaths, because they're lightweight and they work well, right? Um, so, let's get to it. I'm going to show you some different styles of carry. Here is a sheath system I just finished for a client. Um, now, I'm, I'm making this video because I really don't believe clients know what we can do here at Yellowhawk. All the different styles of carry that we can give you in one sheath system. Okay. Yes, it's going to be more expensive. Every carry you ask for is going to be a little more expensive. But, think about the versatility. Instead of having six different sheaths, you can have one sheath that carries a multitude of different ways. Okay? Which, you know, you're saving money there, like, big time. Okay? Um, anyway, so, this is just one sheath. It is fairly basic, right? It does have what I call a Sure Up logo plate on the front, okay? Um, it's got our logo on it right here, pressed in. But this is primarily set up for Baldrick carry, okay? That's not the only style of carry that you can use this sheath on or with, right? But this is his primary, this is what the client wants. You get exactly what you want here, right? Uh, just go to my website, www.yellowhawkcustomkydex.com, and you will see a multitude of different sheath systems on that website, okay? And I, I tell you, I am so custom with these things that you can't order it off the website. You got to go through me. We have to talk about this, okay? So... If you're looking for something really badass, um, uh, built with some experience, you know, outdoor experience, military experience, because I have that, um, I spent quite a few years in a U.S. Army Special Forces unit, so I have carried all types of weapons, all types of knives, in all different carry configurations, right? Um, and... I'd like to think that I know how to carry in the field. So all it takes is a little bit of discourse between yourself and myself, and we can nail down and hone in and dial in exactly how you want to carry your sheep in different circumstances. Okay? Okay? So here's this one. Baldrick carry. And when I say Baldrick, I mean clip in here, clip in here, and you wear it with a sling, okay? So basically, it works like this, okay? You take it, you clip into the top D-ring here, 
with your sling. Now this sling is a Beechin Tactical Beechin Tactical Rifle slash Baldrick Carry Sling. It's made by Jacob Peterson at the Preppers Bunker. He makes these for me. I buy them from him so you can get them directly from me. Okay? Um, and then you clip into the shackle on the front. Clip, clip into the shackle. Okay? And that's how you wear it. Just like this. Okay? Now this, this style of carry is for a big knife. Okay? Now, this is not a huge knife. Right? It's a six and a quarter inch blade. Um, this is my answer to an all-out survival knife. Okay, this is my design. It's built by Mike Wallace at Wallace Edged Tools. CPM 3V is the steel. Okay, it's got a nice, generous choke-up choil. Everything is camfered. There is no hot spots on these knives. Um, they are. A joy to work with in the field. That's a pet peeve of mine. It's got to have a comfortable handle that you can actually work with that knife for 45 minutes at a time, an hour at a time, and it's not going to hurt your hand. Okay? So there it is. This is the Delta Whiskey Backcountry. Now, how it works is you order the knife from Mike Wallace at Wallace Edged Tools. He builds the knife sends it to me, and you and I work on a sheath system together for it, okay? This is what this client <coughs> wanted after we discussed certain things. This is what he wanted, okay? Sling carry. But he also wanted a way... Now, I'm going to take the sling off. It's real easy. Just undo the clips, okay? And voila, it's off, okay? This here is my voodoo dangler system, okay? It can also be a leg drop, but this happens to be a dangler with a D-ring, okay? This thing is adjustable, okay? You can put it at any angle you want, okay? So, when you're done with Baldrick, you can put a, a loop on it, right? And I can make that for you and include it in the package. Put the loop on it and wear it as a dangler on your side, right? Or you can wear it as a cross draw dangler. Okay? There, I'm telling you, there is a multitude of ways you can carry our sheath systems. If you ask me to build them that way. <clears throat> now, every sheath system does not include seven different styles of carry. Okay? You have to ask for it. And yes, every style of carry is a little bit more money because it may include a clip. It may include a, a plate like this one that I have to build, right? That kind of thing, okay? So th there is extra cost involved, but you're also talking about versatility too. And that is the number one concern of most guys that I talk to. How many different ways can I carry this sheath? Is it carry versatile? Yes, I can give you combat lock belt clip like this right with the button on the bottom it's got a lock you just push it over right and it's locked now you can't open it right push the lock back you can open it up okay that's just one clip that I have I have another one here that I have tech locks right goes in the same way now you can put these clips in several different positions okay this is my 45 degree cross draw, okay, right now, and it, it kind of goes on your hip, right, like this, all right, cross draw, and it's, it gets the handle up in the air, that's why that, that uh, clip is angled like that, because most knives are handle heavy, meaning when you put it on your belt, and the uh, clip is straight up and down, right, like this, the handle tends to droop, so you got to crane your wrist in order to draw it. Well, with this, at the very least, it'll keep it level, right? It'll keep it horizontal, and in most cases, it gets it up in the air a little bit. It angles it up a little bit, so it's easier to draw on a cross draw, 
okay, or a scout carry behind the back, right? Okay, you can take it off, you put it in vertical position and attach it to a pack or attach it to your right hand side so that it rides a little high. Well, actually it'll be right about there, okay, like that. Um, I can also give you the, the ability to put a molly lock on it or two molly locks. Okay, there are different sizes of molly locks and I attach them or give them or include them according to the size of the knife and the sheath together. Okay, so a small knife would take a, a three inch molly lock. Okay, a little bigger knife, take a four inch one. I also have six inch ones that are this long. This, this might get a six inch one, this knife here. Okay, um, now if you have, uh, say you have an Altoids tin assembly right here. Okay, I can still give you molly carry. It's just going to be a shorter clip, right? So that the clip can go on there or here, right? If it's going to go in the middle, I build a plate. To mount it to, okay. Then I have enough room to put an Altoids tin assembly at the bottom there, okay, which is a very convenient way to store um, tinder, a fishing kit, whole, a whole slew of other survival or preparedness items, okay. Um, like I said, go to the website, you can see all those options, and e even <laughs> I'll tell you. I've done stuff that's not even on the website, right? I just don't, there's not enough room. It would be 20 pages long if I, you know, cataloged everything I can do, right? Um, that's why it takes a little discourse between you and I in order for you to get exactly what you want and carry it exactly the way you want, okay? And I can, I can give you recommendations. If you say to me, Doug, all I do is go camping. I, I can't, but I'd like to have a knife on me at all times. Okay, well, are you averse to a dangler or a leg drop? Because I'll give you that, right? Or if you want belt carry, I'll give you a clip on it, right? And, you know, we do a cross draw type thing. And then you and I talk about that and you say, you know, oh, I, I think I'll go for the dangler. I like that style. I like that concept, right? So I'll build a dangler into it. And in most cases, I'll give you a clip anyway, right, to put on your sheet so that you got three other styles of carry as well, okay? Um, these, this Voodoo Dangler system is pretty versatile, okay? I don't know anybody else. I don't know any sheath out there that does this. Um, I'm sure there are, but I'm not aware of it, okay? Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's a very sound, versatile way to add carry capability to a sheath system, right? Um, I used to do tabby danglers, my tabby dangler. This one's a little more versatile. It's just as strong, right? Um, but it is more versatile and easier to remove. So, I, you know, if you want a tabby dangler, I'll do it, right? But I'm pushing these because they're just, it's a better system, right? Um, every once in a while a system comes along and I, I test it out and it works well so I adopt it right um, okay so that's this sheath here so this sheath just the way it is right now and I can add other carries to it right has one two three four different ways to carry it four okay Baldrick it's got 45 degree cross draw, it's got 90 degree cross draw, and it's got vertical, okay? You just have to put the clip on the right way, that's all. Vertical, vertical, this way, right? All right, so there's that one. Okay, the next one, well, let me show this. Let me show this one first, okay? Now, I'm not really showing the knives, but these knives are cool, too. This is uh, Mike Wallace's uh, version of my bush lure knife called the LMF, okay, the light multi-function knife. Um, 
This came from my original design. Him and I collaborated on some changes, and this is what we came up with. A great field knife. CPM 3V. This one is 3V. Uh, super sharp spine. This is a bushcrafting wonder, right? I mean, it's, it's great for bushcraft. Um, he's got several different handle styles, 20 different colors. You just you have to work with him, order the knife, he'll build it, send it to me, and then you and I work on a sheath system. Okay, so this this system right here is what this client wanted. Okay, this client happens to live in uh, uh, Canada. Okay, so this is what he wanted. This, these are the colors he wanted: the the uh, zombie green swirly pattern. He wanted a ceramic rod on the front, right? This is a great honing device for your for your blade. Keeps it in top condition at all times. Um, if that's what you like, right? Some guys go for my diamond rod sharpener. Some guys go for a diamond stone. Sometimes some some guys go for the ceramic. <coughs> it just depends on what you want and how you want to use it in the field, okay? Um, and black brick Kydex, he, I tell you, pretty simple. It's a pretty simple uh, way to do it. But this sheath system right here took me four hours to build because I am so anal about getting things right, right? Tough, lightweight, and just very functional, okay? I'm, I'm anal about it. Tabby Dangler. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Voodoo Dangler. Okay. Now, this also, this system here will also give you the Dangler cross draw. I can make this loop any size you want. Right. I can make it smaller than this. I can make it longer than this. Um, this is this is about, about standard this way here. Okay. And you can, you can, uh, angle this voodoo dangle any way you want, okay? Um, and it's easy to take off. You just remove the knife, undo the screw, okay? Just undo the screw. Keep all the hardware. You're going to need it for putting it back on, right? All right, keep all the hardware. There's a rubber bushing. Don't lose that. Okay. You can actually, well, I suggest you just take it apart. Okay. Take this, the, uh, the take, the, there's a rubber bushing on this post too. Um, take the post out, put it all back together, and stow it whatever, wherever you want. Now you have a regular belt carry sheath that you can put a belt clip on in 45 degree cross draw, vertical, 90 degree, right? That type of thing, right? Versatility. That's what it's all about here. I can also give you the ability, now you have to ask for it, okay? I don't normally give you um, both ways, both. But if you ask me, I will. Okay, this is a small tech lock. Okay, this is for smaller knives like this one, right? To go on there and because it's a smaller sheet. Okay, small tech lock. So I can put one of them on there or I can drill holes for it and set the eyelets for this if you want to use your own. <coughs> okay, uh, let's put this puppy back in. There it is, belt carry now. You can also put, now this knife is small enough that you only need the molly lock clip on the side like this. And you can attach it to any pack, right? Pals webbing or just regular straps. So, molly lock, right? Um, if you want it to ride in the center, okay, I can easily build... A little mount plate that goes right here that allows me to put that thing in the center. I can even get it up here if you want me to. 
If you say, hey, I want it to ride a little higher, I, I can ride it all the way up to there. And you'll still be able to draw it. Okay? Um, there are ways to get it a little higher, but I have to build another plate for that. Okay? So there's, there are limitations to some of this, but I can usually overcome small limitations. Okay? Here's a smaller um, molly lock you can put on there. All right? Okay, so there's that. Okay, we've talked about probably six different carries already. All right? Here's another carry. Okay? Now, I can give you this and or just by itself. Right? And or. Get what I'm saying? So, if you want a voodoo dangler, right? And you want, I call this the Zack assembly, okay? Zack came up with this a long time ago, okay? It's a tech lock on a plate that has a lot of play, right? Has a lot of play, just like a dangler, but you don't have to take your belt off to put it on, okay? Boom. So, real convenient way to carry a knife. Um... I have several clients that love this style of carry, and it's all they get, okay? You can even wear it in a dangler cross draw, or angle it like that, okay? Any way you want, okay? So that's the Zack assembly, right? Works very well, nice and tough. You're not going to break it. Um, these things are built to last three lifetimes, I'll give, it, I'll give it to you three lifetimes. So pass it on to your kids. They pass it on to their kids. They pass it on to their kids. And it'll probably last longer than that. Up in, you know, who's going to go further than that, right? Okay? So there's that. I have all different styles of and patterns of Kydex, colors and patterns. Um, this is by far the most popular. This is my black brick pattern. There's only one place to get it that I know of, and I buy it by 20 sheets at a time. And it usually runs about 095, really thick stuff, right? I love it. It's a great pattern. The special ops guys really love this pattern, right? Um, okay, so... This is a Benchmade Hidden Canyon Hunter, something like that, okay? Um, this is my knife. Um, this here is a pocket carry sheath, okay? Basically, what I do is <clears throat> I can either put a mount plate on there or not, okay? If I don't put a mount plate on, the, the ulti clip gets mounted right here just like this, okay? But, if you want a little more versatility, I can put a mount plate on there. It gives you several different ways to mount the ulti clip so that if you're wearing a different style of pants or whatever, it, you know, you're more than likely going to be able to carry in a pocket. Okay? This is pocket carry. Okay? Very popular. Okay? I must do 10 of these a week. Okay? What a good week. But... That's how it is. It clips onto the side of your pocket there, right? The handle does stick out of your pocket a little bit. Um, but you can run all over God's creation, and this thing is not coming out of your pocket. All right? It is very stable. Very secure. <clears throat> I promise you, it is. Okay? So there's the sheath system for it. Um, this one turned out real nice. Okay? Generally... Uh, my fit and finish is perfect, right? I don't like sheath systems to leave the shop unless they're perfect, right? Unless I would own it. You get what I'm saying? So if you're running a business, a small business or a large business, and you're putting out a product that you wouldn't use, you might want to rethink things. Because... <laughs> I ask you to use the same things I use in the field. Now, there's another style of carry. If the knife is small enough, I can give you and necker carry. You know, like you got pocket carry. I can 
and give you necker carry, right? So this is a pocket carry sheath, you saw it, right? Um, take the mount plate off, ulti clip comes off with it, put a lanyard on it, and wear it as a necker, okay? So you get neck carry. I can also do folders in my, I call this the stingray, this little uh, molded piece of kydex. I can't do it for all folders, but a lot of them I can, okay? And it clicks in there, right? And it's on there secure. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall out, right? If you want to use it, you just grab it, pop it out. You got to pop it out, right? And then put it back in, okay? It's, it's, it takes a little to get it out, but I don't want it falling out of that sheet. That's why it takes a little to get it out, okay? But that's the Stingray um, for a folder. Yeah. So here's a couple more Neckers. These are my personal ones. Um, this one's actually set up to be a dangler as well, right? I just took the dangler assembly off. Um, this is uh, Mike Wallace Field Mouse. <laughs> this thing has seen some work. This, this knife has seen some work, all right? There it is. This is just this is just one of my personal neckers, right? Uh, standard compass on there, and if you don't trust the maker that's building your custom Kydex sheath, you should find another maker. Um, if I'm building your sheath, you gotta trust me, right? Um, if you're looking at this uh, compass and you're you have any question in your mind that it's going to work well in the field for you I wouldn't put it on here if it didn't work right now this is my standard compass I do have a better one that I can put on there too okay they are more expensive but I can also put on a Sunto clipper okay this is another necker of mine with a Sunto clipper but I wear this necker a lot it's got a standard compass on it Okay, because they work. Um, there are cheap compasses. You can get them off of eBay or whatever for, you know, 10 cents a piece or whatever, right? That, that is not these. You have to know where to go to get the decent stuff, right? Um, because this guy makes it just like this guy does, only this guy uses better materials, right? More accuracy, better precision, that kind of thing, okay? So you got to... That's where you got to trust me to get the stuff that actually works. <coughs> um, this is our flip-out ferro rod. Okay, there's a bushing here that it rests against. Okay, lift it over the bushing, pull it out, strike it, take it all the way back around, rest it against the bushing, and you're good to go. All right. Um, this system, this flip-out ferro rod, it works, and it works well, right? You use the whole sheath as the handle for your ferro rod. I like to do this sometimes. It just makes it even that much more stable, right? All right? When you're done, just flip it back around. Always clockwise. Always go clockwise. That way it won't uh, <clears throat> um, loosen up on you. You know what I mean? I don't put Loctite on anything so you can take things off. Right? So there is a way to use these things. Okay? So there's that. Works real well. Uh, here's another one. Another Mike Wallace. This is his uh, outdoor series, I believe. Um, with a flip out ferro rod and a striker, too. This green striker, they work and they work well. But you have to use a certain part of the striker in order to strike. And I'll tell you which part to use. Okay? Um, these this these this flip out ferro rod system works well, right? It's kind of like a no-brainer. Um, and this one has a shore up plate on the front that makes it even stronger so that when you strike the ferro rod, it's not given too much. You know what I mean? Um, here's another pocket carry for a uh, 
an SC Camp Lure CR 2.5. This is one of my favorite utility knives, okay? Uh, this thing's great. This is a great knife, right? I'm getting ready to do a dangler for a guy with, for one of these. Um, but this is pocket carry, right? Works out real well. Uh, here's, here's another one of my neckers. This is uh, Brian Sells. This is my design. And this, this knife maker, his name is Brian Sells, builds this design. <clears throat> you order it from him. He, built, he makes it, sends it to me, and we work on a sheath for it, okay? This is uh, designed to be a necker and work with Kydex, not leather, okay? Um, all my knives that I design are designed to have a Kydex sheath put on them, right? It's called the Little Hawk Necker. Little Hawk Necker. Brian sells at English Mountain Knives. I work with several different knife makers uh, who build, you know, any one of my designs, right? Each one has his own design or two that they, that they build that was my design, right? And, you know, it's kind of a knife and sheath system type thing, but custom. This is all custom stuff here, right? Um, again, we are going to be doing... A CPM 3V run of the Delta Whiskey Infinity. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have one here. Infinity. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> this is my Infinity. This is the Delta Whiskey Infinity. We're doing a run of these in CPM 3V. This, I tell you, this is my take on a Wilderness EDC. So it's a slightly bigger knife. It's a, uh, let me see here, I don't want to lie. <laughs> Five and a half inch blade, okay. Five and a half inch blade. This is a Wilderness EDC that you can EDC in the woods all the time, okay. Um, and it, this is... This is the cutoff of chopping, I, I would say. This thing will chop lightly if you're building a bow drill set or whatever. Um, I wouldn't go any smaller than this to chop, though. Okay? It's got fair heft to it. I think it's a 12-ounce knife. Okay? There's the sheath I built for it. Got a tactical lighting system on it. Um, so... Um, I know I've probably forgotten a couple of styles of carry that I just don't remember right now. Here's another one. This is what I call quick straps, okay? This, I'll be honest with you, this is not one of my favorite ways to carry a knife. I know there are guys out there that swear by this, but, okay, there is no way to combat the handle droop of the knife, and I don't like that. When I put this on my belt, the handle droops, right? And it just, it looks terrible. And, and it's, it's, it's not easy to draw like it would be if I put a clip on it and got the handle up in the air a little bit, right? There's a reason I do the things I do, right? Um, because I've experienced certain things in the field that I know just don't work well. And this is one of them, okay? There are a lot of... of, of sheaths out there with this type of carry on it and I think the reason they do is because it's cheap and it's quick right it doesn't cost anything to do right but when you put it on your belt it, it droops you know it, it it droops I don't like that okay um call it call me anal retentive uh call me OCD I don't know but um it just it's just kind of too loose for me you know it's just not my favorite, but I will carry this way if I have to, right? I will. Um, with certain knives, really small knives, this style of carry works great, okay? Works great. But I suggest you have two of these on there, no matter what size the knife is. Unless it, you know, the blade's this long, then you can get away with one of these. But, um, yeah, like I said, just a cheap and quick way to secure a knife to your belt, right? 
uh, but I find that it doesn't work very well. Not for me, okay? I know other guys love it, okay? I know they do. And no offense, right? It's just for my intents and purposes, I just don't like this style of carry. Um, but like I said, I have carried this way. I mean, I have this knife, but I also have another sheath for the Delta Whiskey Viper as well, right? That I wear more often. This is the Viper, Delta Whiskey Viper, um, built by uh, Carson Falk at Hornet Custom Knives. Okay, this is another one of my designs. Uh, really a popular knife. It's getting popular. All right. He is uh, building a 10 knife run right now. So if you want one, let me know and I'll put you on the list. Okay. Um, this this design is going to be given over to another maker come fall. Right. In the fall, I'm going to be giving it to another maker. Okay. I don't know who yet. All right. Okay, guys. I think that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube. This is most mainly a carry style video. Uh, you know, most of the carries that I can give you in a sheath system. Okay? Alright guys. See ya! Thanks for watching.